Hey there guys, welcome back to the Semrin Kagura Estival vs. Uh, weekly pack things. So this one wasn't included in the last weekly mega pack, and for those of you who are looking at the screen saying, Wait a sec, I thought you were playing Senrin Kagura and not Dead or Alive Extreme 3, Fortune, or Venus, depending on what console I get it on. And that's because this extra pack is the Dead or Alive collaboration pack. Meaning, uh, Ayane from Dead or Alive is added as a playable character, looking quite different in this new graphical style, I gotta say. And just the fact that this menu is a total riff on the beach volleyball, I love it. It's great. But there's more than just her, because, I mean, it's it's a collaboration pack. So let's take a look at all the stuff that is included in this pack. It's one of the cheaper packs, because there's not much... Well, not as much to it. So, we'll take a look here. Um, so her hair is added, which is really nice because it is like my favorite length of short hair for girls. So that instantly is purchase worthy for me. So, let's take a look though at what we get and I think it should be near the bottom if I'm correct. Or is it near the top? Does she have a shinobi transformation? I don't even exactly know. We'll have to take a look. So we got the Ayane's outfit here. Which, uh, looks like her one from the newest Dead or Alive game. I could be wrong. I have no connection to the Dead or Alive series. Has some recolors. Very nice recolors, actually. Very ninja. Very ninja. It's it's actually looks like an outfit a ninja would wear, unlike some of the outfits in this game. And if we keep going down, we have Kasumi's outfit. So Kasumi, of course, being possibly one of the most famous characters from Dead or Alive because, I mean, you see her everywhere. And this is her super iconic outfit, which is really nice because it's like, it's a nice outfit too. Now that I know is her player 2 color, which I like. And of course you got the, the, the base color, black and gold, which everyone loves. A red version if you want to be Virgil. And finally a green color. Wow, that's like a green you don't see much. And I, th yeah, and then there's one more, which is Ayane's kimono. Which, to me, is more of the iconic outfit, if you ask me. Um, it's sort of like, when I think of Ayane, I think of this more than her other one. That is an edgy color. That is a Shadow the Hedgehog color scheme. Has a lightly different one, and then a big pink one. So yeah, that's all included in this pack. She doesn't have a swimsuit, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, no, she wouldn't have a swimsuit. Let's just go take a look at her anyways, so we can check her out. We'll switch out Daidoji here, because, sorry Daidoji, you really don't fit the tone of everything else. There she is. So, she, I don't know if she actually has a transformation. No, she has a single outfit, so she does not use a shinobi transformation, I guess. That's a little interesting, that changes things up a bit, you know? Oh, I guess we also get her bandana, which is good, because that's I like that. It's actually a really cool looking bandana. You know, color two is red, because it's red. Is that her voice from the actual games? Because, man, that's... It's weird. Dead or Alive's, like, characters, you can't tell their ages. They look like grown women, but they're actually, like, young girls. It's very strange. Um... Anything really else that we got? I think that's about it. I mean, we'll take a quick look through the accessories, just in case. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I did unlock something interesting. They added in a, um, an online battle mode where you actually battle with, um, put making character dioramas, and I unlocked the dolphin, and its default pose is literally in the middle of the body, and it jiggles. What a world we live in. And, uh, this isn't a shinobi outfit. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the most shinobi outfit in this entire game. I have no idea what you're talking about. She even has the toe things. Oh my god, they're toe things that go into high heels. That's hilarious. I've never seen that. Whose marketing decision was that? Saying like, no guys, we need, we need it to go into high heels at the end. So I think one thing that you do unlock though is a battle theme for her. I'm pretty sure. Is it in the music, actually? I gotta check. I might have to buy it. Um, Ayame, no. Here we go. So yeah, it does include a remix of her theme. Japanese style, first half focuses on the riff, but the second half is a bit more danceable. So, that's really cool. I don't know if you ever fight her. Maybe there's a randomized mode where you can, but... That's a really good theme, actually. 
That's actually a really good theme. Actually, okay, so this is something that I, I totally forgot about. Every time you buy a music track, it actually has composer notes, which is one of the best things ever. It's honestly a really good thing. Like, a lot of people probably don't think about that, you know? It's like, but that's a small feature that I really like. Uh, the, the transparency overall with um, the developers and the actual, like, people, you know, when the game's put out is quite nice. So let's just go do a basic level. We'll just go, um, guided by wild grass. Why not? We'll try it with Ayane. So again, should be said, I have very little knowledge of Dead or Alive. Um, the only thing I do know is that it did get a Dead or Alive, I mean, a Senran Kagura costume pack. But then again, there are costume packs for everything for, um, Dead or Alive, the newest one. So, oh, it does play your theme, I guess. So let's see how she goes. Is she actually, is she actually in, like, oh, she's actually in her fighting stance. That's great. I love it. Oh, yo, we got some shuriken throwing. Okay, okay, she's pretty fun so far. So yeah, she doesn't, though, have a uh, transformation, it seems, which is interesting. Actually, if we go to her options, let's just take a look here. Um, if we go to her tech list, she, yeah, it looks like she only has Yang progress here. Um... I mean, that sort of makes sense that she'd always be in ninja mode, like, because, well, she's not from the universe, so, like, she wouldn't ever go out of ninja mode. So, level one super. That looks like a move. Oh, hello, car. Sure. You know what? That's fine. We'll go with that. Why was there a car? That was awesome, but, you know. Wait, so, did she use her sword there? Yeah, I guess she does. That's actually a nice touch. So I guess her her mini sword is her weapon. Okay, this theme is so rockin' though. It's actually a really good theme. She's fun. She's a fun character. She's possibly the most ninja of the ninjas in this game. Let's see if we can get her level 2 here. That's cool. I can dig that. That's a good, uh... Let's do it again. This time in a big group. So wait, did those always drop a bunch of scrolls or was that just because of the attack? I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, dude, this, at this attack makes... Am I just noticing this or is that a special thing of this attack? Dropping so many scrolls, meaning you can basically do unlimited of them. That's actually a little ins Maybe it's just because they're the, the item box people there. I don't exactly know. The car is so cool. That's so dumb, but so good. That must that must be a reference to the story of Dead or Alive. Uh, because honestly, I know nothing about the story of Dead or Alive, so... Okay, so you you charge it and it becomes a, um, an aerial shuriken, and I guess you can then attack after that. So she's fun. She's a really good character. I mean, I'd hope they make the DLC characters good, because you are paying for them. Oh, a nice butterfly design there. That's good. It's funny, because she's like the propi proprietor of, you know, Dead or Alive was the game featuring Jiggle Physics. So to have it- oh, she's in the outfit there, that's hilarious, I forgot about that. Um, to have it be like, you know- come back around and yeah now it's like now you're back in the game that sort of remade it popular almost you know so um just for the sake of it let's throw on her alternate outfit because i don't want this video to be super short we'll throw on her alternate outfit play another stage and uh we'll see how it goes that's the switch button that's not where i wanted to go yes yeah, so let's throw on her um go to the dressing room put on her alt outfit and we'll see how she looks Change clothes. Nope, wrong character. Left. So that's her default outfit versus if we switch it to her... Where was it? The kimono. 
Yeah, it's, I like it. It's 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 a nice alternate take on the character, and so we'll see what that looks like. Just because she's fun, and I want to play as her again. And there's not super many opportunities to play as the DLC characters. The best, your best bet would be going online, honestly. So maybe we'll go against the boss though, so that we can see what it's actually really like. You know, let's see here. Uh, butt splitting, sure. Let's do butt splitting. We'll see how this goes. The fact that you can't heal mid-match because you can't transform should be a bit... make it a bit difficult, but I, I think it's probably not because she's ba probably balanced for that, you know? But that also means she doesn't have frantic mode, which, that you know, if you don't like that, then th that's a thing. God, this theme is actually so good, though. Like, it's... Man, I'm a big music fan in games, you know? So it's like... And we haven't unlocked all our moves yet uh, uh, already, so it's we're gonna get more stuff as we go on, thankfully. And there's level three already. So um, I was uh, people were already telling me I was completely wrong about how the level the the ultimate arts work in this game. Oh my god, um, it's not level three at low HP. It's it's just level five once you get five in our high enough levels. So yeah, no, I I made that mistake before. She's really good though. Take a look at this. I love it. That's a character that's balanced to let you win. And of course I forgot to switch her costume again. Whatever, that's fine. We'll get to see. Well, I mean, one of us is gonna have to change. Let's be honest here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see if we can do this. This seems like a good attack. Seems like a really good attack. Oh, can we, can we knock down Hom- We got Hamura down before we even- <laughs> Hamura's down before we even had a chance to let her transform. That's great. Guess that's... Her air combo is actually really good though. Mirai's always going to be a pain, though, so... Let's see if we can get rid of both of them. I think we'll get rid of Mirai here. Yep, she's down. She's down and nudified. She's straight naked. There we go. I I, I should... Okay, let's, let's let her hit me so that we can at least see what it's like for us to lose our, our, uh, our costume. As we take it. Oh, do we have taunts? I forgot if you can taunt in this one. I don't think you can. No, that's down. There we go. So, yeah, it's. There we go. Whoa. Dizzy. I don't think I've seen a Dizzy yet. Which is funny, because that's such a fighting game thing, you know? Dead. Destroyed by a car. That is so dumb, I love it. Just a, a car. <laughs> I think that's a, a, a remix Dead or Alive victory theme, too. I like that. That's gonna be the thumbnail because it shows half a boob. That will get me more views on this video. I don't know if you noticed, I'm buying all the DLC and putting them up for a reason. No, but she's actually a super fun character. She actually might be one of my favorites just for her speed and everything. And we wouldn't have gotten a B if we if we didn't take enough damage to get hit there. But no, the fact that she's always transformed is not a problem because she totally feels balanced for that, you know? Because you because basically the best part about um, having the transformation is you can heal up in the middle of battle, you know? But th since that's not a case here, eh, it's, you know, it's, it's interesting. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, next time we'll be back with, I think, the final DLC pack for Senran Kagura, for now. There might be more in the future. We'll have to see. Thank you all for watching, guys. See you later. Ciao.